morning. This is John Dunn here from Goldcroft. I'm standing in a field of cover crop that was planted after spring barley and I'd like to speak to you about club root disease. So club root disease it's a fungal pathogen that lives in the soil and on plant on and in plant roots. Um, its main symptoms are deformities of the roots okay so as you can see it forms galls and deformities on the roots and that affects the plant by limiting its water and nutrient uptake. Um, infected plants such as oilseed rape if they are infected will lose half their yield. It lives on members of the cruciferous family so the cruciferous family includes all the brassicas such as fodder rape, oilseed rape, mustard, kale um, but it also lives on certain weeds like charlock and runch which are common in tillage, tillage fields and on shepherd's purse and that's some shepherd's purse there in the in the video so rotation is the best way of avoiding this disease if you do get it on land it can last up to 15 years um, so it's a long-term problem and it's easily spread from field to field it can be spread on footwear on machinery anything that's carrying soil so um, if you move a plow from one field from an infected field to a clean field you can bring it in um, if animals graze on infected land, okay, so infected brassicas, for example, and they move on to clean land, the spores can easily survive in their guts and their excrement can then transfer the spores onto clean land. So avoidance is certainly the best policy by rotation. Okay, so don't go brassicas too frequently. As I say, no closer than one year in three, preferably one year in five. If you're growing oilseed rape, try to avoid using cover crops in the rotation that contain brassicas. Um, cover crops bring a lot of benefits um, and brassicas are a common part of cover crop mixes. But if you are growing oilseed rape, please try to avoid using brassicas in those cover crop mixes. Um, there's other species of cover crops that like Vesselia, for example, which is here, um, which are not hosts of club root. Um, there's linseed here as well. Um, so there are other options to avoid um, brassicas in, in cover crop mixes. So as I say, rot rotation is the best method. Um, spread out your rotations. Don't grow brassicas too frequently. Um, also, the conditions that club root likes can, so be, can be avoided somewhat. Um, it likes low pH. So if you land at six and a half or less, um, by maintaining a pH of seven or more, that can help limit the severity of club root disease. Um, so liming where necessary, and it's important to use calcium-based lime because it's a combination of a raised pH and good calcium levels that can help limit the club root disease. Also, good levels of soil boron have been shown to somewhat limit the severity of club root disease. Um, it likes warm, wet soil. So if we get a warm, wet autumn, that suits um, the spores. The spores move through soil moisture so the wetter the soil is it's easier for the spores to move around and infect new plants. Um, but rotation is the key. Okay so avoiding host plants, um, particularly brassicas, in the rotation um, as much as possible will, will lessen the severity or the chance of getting club root. Um, there are some varieties of oilseed rape and kale that are, are resistant to club root disease. They can contain an important gene called the Mendel gene. Um, so they are generally not affected by club root. But if you do abuse them and you grow them continuously or too frequently in the land, you will actually select for other species of club root disease that can overcome that resistance. So resistant varieties are not a break crop or a solution to club root disease. Um, but they can be useful if you if you just have to grow a brassica in infected land. So be careful um, with soil transfer from, from infected fields and be careful with your rotation um, and your pH. Okay, so I just thought I'd do a little video this morning about it because cover crops and oilseed rape are becoming more important and commonplace um, around the country and we don't want to encourage club root disease become a, a bigger problem than it already is. Okay, thanks for your attention.